The purpose of this video is to simply show the output of a signal on a pin to an LED, turning the LED on and off. So we're going to be putting a high signal to the pin and a low signal to the pin. Outputting a signal on a pin is the general subject of GPIO, general purpose input and output. We're only concerned with the output at this point. The features, modes, and control for just the output on a pin is quite vast. There are two main modes when outputting on a pin on a marking controller. There's open drain, and then there's push-pull. There are three states for each mode. These three states are pull-up, pull-down, and no pull-up or pull-down. And this is all controlled with registers. You're not actually doing the pulling up and pulling down externally. This is happening internally with the microcontroller. In a pull-up scenario, let's say you're doing open drain, there is resistance connecting to the positive power source. With an open drain scenario, you have the, the input or the signal coming from a pin from a microcontroller, and then you have a, res a transistor, also called an open collector. You have the signal coming in from the pin, and this is the base input. So this is essentially turning on or off the, the transistor. And then this is the output, where you would have either a, a pull-up resistor on the line, or it also gives you the ability to do pull down. The, depending on the signal that you have on the base input, which will be coming from your microcontroller, will determine the output signal, whether you have a pull up or a pull down resistor on that line. It's also important to note that if you're gonna have multiple signals or multiple connections on a single output, say you have multiple microcontrollers or multiple pins from a microcontroller, going on, a, on the same line to be able to communicate, it would be good to use the open drain or open collector scenario. When working with open drain, it's pretty important to use a pull up or pull down resistor. But with push pull, we're not, gonna, um, we're not actually gonna use a pull up or pull down, we're gonna use the none state. For output pins and the push pull mode, the pull up and pull down resistor really isn't as important as if it was an input pin. The input pin would need to have a pull down or pull up resistor so the pin wouldn't be floating and getting interference. To put the port C pin 6 into the right state for output, we'll need to control four different registers to set it up. The first one is the mode register. The second one is the output type, which is called O type register. The output speed, which is the O speed register and the pull up, pull down register, which is abbreviated pull up, pull down register. The mode register controls whether you're going to be in output mode, input mode, using the alternate function, or an input output analog type. We're going to be using the general purpose. It's called the GP general purpose. and that has a value of 0, 1. Since there are four types of modes, you need two bits to be able to select four different modes. We'll go over the other three modes in future videos. The output type register has one bit, which can be either a 0 or a 1. And that will determine whether it's going to be open drain or a push-pull. The open drain is, is abbreviated as OD and push-pull is PP. In this scenario, we're going to be selecting the push-pull and the type will be equal to zero. The output speed register has three different speeds. Low speed, medium, and high speed. We'll be concerned with the high speed in this one, but it really doesn't matter because we're just turning on and off an LED in a slow way so we can perceive it as a human and that would be one, one. The medium, if you want to use medium, it's zero, one. This is a two-bit register. And the low is making sure that this last bit is a zero. I don't think the, the first bit really matters, but in the software, it's defined as one, zero. Now we come to the final control register, and that's pull up, pull down. And there, this is a two-bit register, so you have four options. 
Although, really, you only have three options because there's pull up, pull down, and none. And the last option is reserved. So, with no pull up and pull down, that is a zero, zero. Pull up with a pull up resistor, that's a zero, one. And pull down is equal to one, zero. So we're gonna be using this selection. We've only discussed the control registers to really just set this pin up. We haven't really talked about how to output to the actual pin. So we're gonna be outputting a zero and a one, a zero and a one. We're blinking an LED, so we're just gonna be outputting this type of stream with delays in between. There are a couple ways to do that. The way we're gonna be using in this video is we'll be setting bits to the BSRR register, and that stands for Bit Set Reset Register. And this register has 32 bits in it. As you already know, the ports have only 16 pins, so why would the the bit set reset register have 32 bits. The reason is because the set and reset are separated. So you can set a pin and that has 16 bits in that and then there's 16 bits in the reset. So you can set a reset pin and it'll turn it off. So you're not actually assigning a zero to a pin to turn it off. You're actually assigning a one to the reset portion of the 32-bit number. So let's go ahead and look at a 32-bit number. So there's 16 bits on one line and 16 bits on another line. So we'll consider this the 32nd bit and we'll consider this the zero bit. So there's zero to 15 and then 16 to 32. So in this number, let's just make it a table here. This would be pin number zero. This would be pin number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 in a zero based index. So if I wanted to turn on pin number six, I would affect this particular pin here and I would put a one in it. Or if I want to reset the pin or set the pin outputting nothing, then I would put a one at this sixth place. So this is the set and the reset. But setting a one in the reset portion of this 32-bit number isn't very straightforward and we'd have to use some shifting and things like that. So let's leave that to a later video and use instead the BRR register, which is the bit reset register. And it acts just like this portion of the set, zero through 15. And this is a 16-bit register. So if you set bit number six on a zero based index on the BRR, then you'd be resetting it as if you'd done this. So I think we know enough about controlling the registers for controlling the output uh, GPIO pins, and we know enough about how to control the actual pin itself. So let's jump into programming. Okay, let's start the co IDE. This was the program I stopped last time. I'm just going to start a new file or a new project. We're using the F030 R8 microcontroller. Let's click on new project. We'll call this LED blink port C6 and finish. And we're going to need the, we need to add the STM32 F0 boot. And then it automatically comes with the CM SIS core. So these are the only ones we need right now. Should see them here. Let's jump into our main.c and we have our skeleton code. And let's put in pseudocode so we can specify the general outline of the program without having to put in real code. Well, let's do this. Within the main routine, we're going to do a lot of the control in this location here. So let's say
And in the while, we're going to turn turn on turn on the LED. Wait. Turn off the LED. And then wait. It looks like we're using this wait twice, so we can actually look at that right now and and know that we're going to have a function. And the specified amount of time can actually be something brought in to this function. As you know, we can probably, as you know from the AVR videos, we can create the function here and not have to put in a prototype function, or we can put the function at the end, having the main part at the top, but then putting the prototypes up here. So I think I'm just going to keep the function on the top. And this is pretty much all we need right now. We, we can, let's go ahead and type in the specific registers that we'll probably be using. The mode register, the O-type register, the speed register, and the pull-up, pull-down register. In here, to turn it on, we'll, we'll be using the, the BSRR register, and to turn off, we'll be using the BRR register. And we're going to stop there, and in the next video, we'll start to populate the pseudocode with real code. Thank you for watching.